So this basket is full of chocolate. Another one, and now I have two of these, because I know that I'm gonna be baking something, and then I will be frantically looking for powdered sugar. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am gonna work on cleaning out my pantry and reorganizing it. If you can see, it's just one big cluttered mess. I have, it's about to explode. There's so many things in there. Um, I, this is something that I have to constantly work on because look at it. There are two things that I hate about it. One, it's small. Two, it's kind of set in. So there's this dead space on the sides. And then if I want to put in containers, I can't put it in wall to wall because I will have a hard time sliding those bins and baskets out. So what I do usually is just put a couple of containers and then um, shelves and that's what I used use to organize my space. So my current system is not working because I just constantly have to upkeep my pantry, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna buy any new containers right now. I just have to work on cleaning it up more often or every day. Um, another reason why I'm working on it today is because I have some overflow on my window um, little shelf here and I really don't want that. I feel like it you know, makes my kitchen look extra cluttered. So I just thought I would take the time this morning and knock out my pantry clean out. Hope this motivates you today. Okay, so looking at my pantry, I think what I'm gonna have to do is take everything out. I can't really do it shelf by shelf because, I don't know, maybe I'll just do a shelf by shelf. Let's see. Okay, so I have taken the top two shelves out. I did leave a couple of big bulk items here and that is some chocolate chips and some white holy flour and I only left it in here because I knew I was going to put it back in these same spots. So what I do is I kind of organize the shelves by type of food. So this top is normally pasta and like miscellaneous things like chips and bread and stuff like that. And the second shelf is where I normally put my baking items. So I'm going to go ahead and put some things that I took out. Let me show you. Lots of stuff, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the pantry. See, I have a lot of Lipton onion soup. I just put it under this, oh, no, let me actually clean the shelves. this shelf and the second shelf with all my baking goods and my dry goods and or remaining dry goods and I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay so here's another good reason why I need to clean out my pantry. I have all these good quality vanilla beans from Costco. Um, when I first bought these um, last year and then the year before that the price was about $15. Vanilla beans have gone up to $28 and so I have two, four, six, eight, ten vials of vanilla beans left and when I looked at the expiration dates these are best before August 5th, 2017. Look how many vanilla beans there are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still use them. I'm gonna give this package to my brother because he loves making vanilla sugar. And then I'm gonna figure out some ways to use this. So vanilla beans can be used in place of vanilla extract. So whichever recipes I use from now and forever will have vanilla beans until I use all of these up. I'm not letting it go to waste. So this basket is full of chocolate and chocolate chips. My favorite, if you want to know, are the Trader Joe's semi-sweet chocolate chunk chunks. They make the best chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to put this in front of my vanilla beans. And the vanilla, the vanilla beans I have back there are good until 2018. Okay, going through my pantry, I found my better than blue bouillon roasted chicken base. I couldn't find this, so when I went to Costco, I picked up another one, another one, and now I have two of these. Okay, now I am going to clean out or tackle this bottom shelf. This is where I normally have like all the snacks and stuff for the kids. You can see that it's one big old mess, so the kids haven't really been able to access their snacks, and I, my preference is that they get that stuff in the morning and pack it up for um, their school day. So what I'm gonna do is clear everything out, sweep the bottom and clean it up, 
and then I will take all the little snacks out of these big boxes here and then put it in their plastic bins, at least whatever can fit. And whatever overflow or whatever we have left over, I'm gonna put on the very top shelf. I found a bag of powdered sugar in my pantry. And I am going to go ahead and fill up my jar with the sugar because I know that I'm going to be baking something and then I will be frantically looking for powdered sugar, realize that I'm almost out and I won't see this bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and be proactive and fill this up. It's amazing how good you can feel after cleaning up your kitchen or your house or what have you. So I kind of read that, what is it, Conmarie Mundu, Mundu, her book, I forget what it's called, the Magic of Tidying Up, I don't know. But I read a little bit of it and I'm not ready to be a minimalist like she kind of describes in her book. Everything right now brings me joy. So I'm just slowly doing what I can and then maybe in a couple of years, yes I do think it'll take that long, I will get to that point. But for now, I'm just going to do what I can with decluttering what I can. So we're all set. Okay, so I got everything cleaned. It doesn't look perfect, but I'm able to see what I have in my pantry. So. I left it where the pastas are up top. I have some coconut oil there. And then behind here I have like, this is some leftover cornmeal and then just like some brine. And right behind that I have some quinoa, the bread for my kids' lunches, and then chips. The second aisle is my baking, or second shelf is my baking shelf. Um, right here I have just like cake mix, Kodiak pancake mix, some um, extra flour and chocolate chips in the back. I know that this is kind of a mess, but I'm still trying to figure out a solution. But at least I know what's in this section. There's honey, molasses, um, coconut butter for my smoothies, cornstarch, and then like this miscellaneous like malt powder, pretzel salt, flour de sel, and then buttermilk. I like to use this powdered stuff um, along with, you know, regular buttermilk. And then malted milk for any malted recipes I have. Um, this one normally just pretty much contains sugars and then I have some instant jello pudding mix. In here I have all like kind of add-ins for cookies and quick bread. So there's chocolate, whether it's chocolate bars, chocolate chips, chocolate chunks, caramel bits, white chocolate chips. I have my vanillas over here, my vanilla bean. Just one can of evaporated milk, Nutella. And in this back section right here, it's just all kinds of canned pumpkin. Um, I have some box cake mix, and I have this because um, I want to make just like an easy cake with my kids. This third shelf is um, just canned goods. Um, back here though, I have like that um, quick quinoa brown rice packages that I can just microwave, powdered peanut butter. These, this is kind of out of place, mayo, but I mean, at least I can see it. Some um, masa, and this is what I put in chili, some long green rice, popcorn kernels, um, just canned goods, lots of black beans, refried beans, breadcrumbs, um, rotel, tuna, salmon, olives, I think I already said tomatoes. And on this shelf I have just kind of a mix match a thing. These are like all kinds of sauces, dressings, marinades, vinegars. Same thing here. I have pepperoni. Again, out of place, but at least it's visible. Some flavor god spices when I was kind of into that. Um, some oils and tomato paste. I have my cereal here. We buy the big family size, so it doesn't really fit from top to bottom, but I can lay it on its side. And I put it here because my kids can reach it. And then on the bottom, this is where I keep snacks, so that's kind of savory snacks, cookies, and then this is like Rice crispy Treats and fruit tapes. And then I have like overflow of that quinoa and brown rice that was on that shelf up here. Some fruit punch, extra mac and cheese in here. I have just like some coconut flakes and straws. Back there I have like dough conditioner and extra creamer. And underneath I have um, lunch bags and coffee filters, which I don't really need anymore because we now have a Keurig, but I have that in case I bring my coffee maker out. Um, just some mum mums and little snacks and other fruit snacks that my mom got us a long time ago. Apple juice with some apple 
little sauce underneath. So that's it. I mean, ultimately my goal is to get it even more organized than this, but it's such a small space. I need to figure out what I need to put on the sides to use up that dead space. I've seen people kind of put baskets, but it's so narrow. I don't know what I can put there. So for now, I just kind of had things on the floor on the side, so it kind of looks like it's out of the way. Um, my spices still look pretty good, and that is it. That is my pantry. I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Now I can see everything. I won't buy duplicates. I know I have a lot of pasta to use, a lot of black beans, um, coconut cream out the wazoo, but, and of course, chocolate chips. But anyways, I hope that you guys like, I hope you guys like this um, pantry cleanup and reorganization. If you have any ideas that will help my situation a little bit better, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. But for now, this is what works for me. Um, maybe as I get more organized in the future, I'll find more ideas. But thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.